So this is uh, one of the largest and most complex projects the RSPB has been involved in. So we've got 744 hectares of new habitat here. Once the habitat is complete, we've got three separate intertidal cells plus a big new lagoon and a final line of sea defence. So we let the sea in and that does most of the work for us. It brings in the invertebrates, the mud and the seeds that form the salt marshes. It's the first project in Europe, definitely, where we brought terrestrial material onto a wetland project. BAM have done extremely well in moving all the spoil from the tunnels and the idea is that it will um, avoid any tidal issues with the rising seawater. Getting the material across the conveyor is one of the biggest challenges we've had. What BAM have done is to mix the dry material with the wet and got it across the conveyor as best they could. Done a fantastic job. We're concentrating on cell one, which is this end. It's the eastern end. It's only about a quarter of the whole island. Because of the tides in London, we would get about three boats here a day. It's about 6,000 tonne a day, unloaded simultaneously on this conveyor system. But from that point, it got moved across to fill the island. We're on this job, we've got two sea walls which total in linear length about two miles. And they started at the bottom footprint, was 35 metres wide, and the finished footprint at 4.8 metres high is four metres wide. So you can imagine the volume material that went in to build two metres of sea wall at that length of distance. And once it's filled inside, break the sea wall, the tidal water will come in. We've currently got two big floats in over from Holland. As you can see, they've got uh, wider tracks. Any conventional plant that we have in this country would have sunk by now, and we've been digging them out. They're GPS controlled, so there's no setting out out there. It hasn't had an impact on the environment. We've protected all the species we can on the island. Been very good working with them. They're very experienced staff. They're working to our ground model. They're delivering the habitat. So it's been a very good working relationship.